Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be working with this. What is this? This is four QLXD 24SM58 systems, the G50 band and a UA844 plus SWB antenna combiner and power distribution system. All right guys, so um, we got four handheld uh, wireless systems here and an antenna combiner system. We're gonna try to um, rack mount or put them all together um, as a rack unit and then connect it to the antenna distribution system. Um, these are in G50 band. If you don't know which wire systems to buy in your it for yourself or which band to buy them in, just go and check whichever manufacturer you're gonna buy them from. So if you're gonna go to, if you're gonna buy something from Sure, go look up, just Google Sure Frequency Finder. If you're going to buy something from Sennheiser, I think they have a frequency list manager or a frequency finder or something like that in there. Um, so just go put your, your address to so wherever you're gonna put, use the units in there and it'll automatically um, tell you which ones it thinks you should get. How does it do that? It pretty much has a list of channels being used, uh, registered channels being used in the area from the government, FCC, or wherever they get that database from. And then it'll try to find the cleanest channels or cleanest band for you. Meaning um, you could use, let's just say hypothetically, 10, um, this may not be, this may not apply to you or this may, this, these are just numbers I'm making up. You can maybe use 10 in the G50 band or maybe you can use eight in the H band or I don't know, 12 in the J band or whatever. So just go figure it out, put your information in there and then it'll tell you which band to buy your systems in. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, for this, we're gonna be working in G50 band and we're gonna put it all together, see how it works. Um, for us, we're going to be networking them together so that we can connect them to Shure Wireless Workbench um, and kind of um, work, manage all the systems in the area. Um, this one is just gonna be four systems. There's gonna be other systems um, in the area, so we're gonna have to uplink all the systems together eventually. That's gonna be maybe in a different video later, who knows sometimes. Um, but for now, this is what we're gonna be working with, and let's get to it. So here's some, so here's something interesting, guys. Put two. There's two rack gears that go on on the sides of the units. The screws are already in there, so you gotta take those screws off and then put the rack gears on, then put them on. But the interesting thing is, um, each unit the, for the whole bottom set, it takes 16 screws. I, I'm not saying that's overkill because I'm sure it makes it really sturdy, but that's a lot of screws. So if you're going to be doing a lot of this, make sure you have like a a drill or a screwdriver handy because you can be doing a lot of it. So let's keep going. So since I'm doing all this work by myself, if you got a drill, make sure you have one of those attachments. 
um, out um, the, with the magnetic end so that it keeps the screw on there, all right, like this. Look at that. Even if I shook it really hard, it's not going anywhere. When you're working by yourself, these things are gold, literally. Um, pun intended, you know? Makita Gold Impact uh, Sleep Bit. So I was able to do all that real fast, mainly because this thing is really helpful. All right, so if you don't got one of these magnetic bits, uh, bit holder things that hold your uh, screw into place, make sure you pick one up. I'll throw a link in the description below. I got this one from Amazon. All right guys, so this is what four QLXD4 units look like when they are rack mounted together with a, an antenna um, power distribution unit up top. This is the UA844 plus SWB. This is pretty much what, it's look, what it looks like. Um, this is not what we're going to be leaving it in permanently. This is just my staging rack size, kind of connect everything here, put it all together. And then when we go um, to the location on the site, we'll transfer it into the real rack unit. Um, but this is just for staging, so we do a lot of this work here. And then we're gonna connect the antenna cables. So let's keep going. So when you're doing something like this so you don't, you don't cross mingle or you don't reconnect the wrong antennas in the wrong way, generally when I do this, I like to do all of either one side first, all antenna A or all antenna B. Um, that way you don't actually connect one antenna to antenna B and the other diversity antenna to the other antenna B and then you really got no antenna A. So make sure you keep some kind of system to keep it together. So we're gonna do all antenna A here first. I'm not sure how much this is gonna come out. We'll do all of antenna A first, all right? So that's what it looks like when all the RF ports are connected, okay? And it looks like a cable management nightmare, um, but usually it's gonna be in the back of a rack and the back of the rack's usually gonna be closed or underground or what, I don't, not underground, but under something, so you probably won't see it that much, but I'm just showing you, that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. There's two cables for each unit, so I mean, just imagine how many cables you have. So here's a quick tip. If you're doing like the QLXD units, you wanna use the ones where there is a locking barrel connector on one end and a 90 degree angle non-locking barrel connector on the other end. Or else, um, because the input jack of the QLXD um, is not a locking um, connector, I'm not sure, I don't think you're gonna be getting enough um, connection um, with the locking jack because the locking jack pr protrudes out a little bit and it's felt like it was going to fall out if people moved it around too much or whatnot. So um, I actually made the uh, mistake of uh, trying to connect those. Um, so if you look at this one, there's a locking barrel connector that plugs into the intent or power distribution unit. And here is a barrel connector that plugs in non-locking 90 degree barrel connector that plugs into um, the back of the, the QLXD. On the other ones, there's two locking barrel connectors. You don't want to use that when you're working with the QLXD, okay? I'm sure it's used for something. I don't know if it's ULXD or BLX or something, but for a QLXD, you want one locking barrel 
and other side, non-locking barrel. All right, guys, so this is what four QLXD uh, half rack unit receivers and the UAA44 plus SWB back of the unit looks like when you connect four of the units together with the power. Okay, I'll show you the front. The front will look obviously much nicer. And that's what the front looks like. Um, if you don't worry about the back, front looks pretty nice. All right guys, so that's pretty much how, how what it looks like when you connect four of the QLX D4 units together with this uh, UA844 uh, plus SWB antenna and power distribution unit. So this is what it looks like. Obviously the back is a mess, but hey, we powered it on for the first time. Looks like everything works. Um, gonna network them together later, and then um, we'll try to figure out how to, oh, with the wireless workbench, we'll, figure out the frequencies and that kind of stuff and deploy it. So, hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, it generally took, I want to say, somewhere around 30-ish minutes, um, but it's pretty much doable. You spend a lot of time unboxing and unwrapping every cable and stuff like that. So, um, right now we have the uh, half-wave antennas on there, but if you have paddle antennas or some kind of other antenna system, then hey, it'll gear to look different. But Hope this video helped you guys out and encourage somebody to put it together. But if you have a lot of um, wireless stuff, you definitely want to invest in some kind of antenna and power distribution unit because it will help um, that we don't have a bunch of antennas since they do kind of need to be upright um, everywhere. But like I said, hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, let me know and we'll see you guys next time.